at the end of the day, not all art is actually art, so you might have to disregard. At the beach, hang on. Haven't done any videos for a while. Uh, just things, things and stuff. But I'm working on a video, something about playing sports with people who change rules. Uh, but I'm working on that. That's going to take a little while to do. A lot of production involved in that. Probably won't necessarily have high production value because I half-ass everything. But uh, checking in, just letting you know what's going on. This is Kira Beach. It's really lovely today. If I was fully serious about being a uh, YouTuber, I'd be running around with a smile on my face making silly vlog style videos showing all the beautiful people in beautiful places and talking about stuff that's relevant to nobody for no reason. I mean, it's not to say that there's no merit in the things that people say, but as a society we've come to revere well, people that are now called influencers, uh, actors and sports stars and everything else. And at the end of the day, they're the cream of the crop, the creme de la creme of the particular industry in which they're in. I can't act like Brad Pitt or George Clooney uh, or Kevin Spacey, but we know some of these people don't behave in the best manner in other aspects of their life. I know nothing about Clooney or Pitt, but we know Kevin Spacey's done some unsavory things, just like one of the people that employed a lot of these guys. Then you get influencers that are specifically do things for clicks. And at the end of the day, I suppose I'm doing this for clicks, but it's not necessarily for hollow fame. It's not necessarily for me to signal that I'm better than anybody else. I can speak about various things, not necessarily with any particular good knowledge, but I can impart information. And sometimes I'm funny, so I can entertain people. Instead of revering doctors, scientists, nurses, police officers. So, I'm not saying art doesn't have any value in our society. In fact, it has a, a very vital, uh, it's a very vital part of our society. So is sport, so is is, is competition. Competition is, is what, what makes people strive forward to, um, to better themselves. But the thing with art is, just because someone makes an art piece that makes you feel something in particular, and that's what they've designed it to do, doesn't mean that person is any better to, uh, that the created it, is any better able, is any better equipped to deal with that idea or forward that idea or actually has any better useful information in the real world for the betterment of you or themselves. And actually the same can be applied to almost anything because a doctor can sew up a wound or can find a, a part of your body that's diseased and fix that doesn't mean they have answers in anything outside of their field of expertise. Just because a, a, uh, a sports person can throw a ball through a hoop doesn't mean they have the answer to world hunger. People can understand complex ideas. People can understand how the solar system works. But if they were pressed to explain how it actually works, they probably couldn't. And so, addendum, addendum. I'm not saying that I have the answers to anything. This I'm saying is not about having answers, it's about knowing where to find answers or using the correct parts of your brain to deduce answers by getting knowledge from applicable sources. So, I wouldn't watch Nigella to find out how to change the spark plugs on a car. That's all this is about.